Wichita police on the search for women posing as animal control officers that are stealing pets from local families. It has already happened twice in a week. Cakes Dub Ferris found one woman who watched as the women seized her mama dog and five puppies. It was around noon on Tuesday when the Longs noticed two animal control officers taking their puppies and their dog from this fence. I want my Lucy back so bad. I miss her. She would come and do the happy dance here when I'd get home and just greet me. She loved us. Shannon Long says Lucy, a pit bull, recently appeared at their South Wichita home, pregnant and very skinny. So she took the dog in. She and her puppies, now five weeks old, are gone. When my husband saw them, they had the puppies already loaded and they were with the stick, you know, putting the thing around her neck, getting her. Two women claiming to be Wichita Police Animal Control Officers pulled up Tuesday, telling the Longs Lucy was underweight. They took her and the puppies. Long realized the women were imposters when she called Animal Control to check on her dogs. It gives us a bad name. It gives all officers a bad name because everybody now is concerned, well, is this really an animal control officer? Is this really a police officer? So it makes our job even harder to do. And this isn't the first time. Police say the same women took another dog last week under the same disguise. I hope they are convicted and I hope that they do serve their time. You have to serve within the rights of the law. You can't just go taking people's dogs. And I hope that they pay the, the price for that. Now, if you have any questions about whether or not the officers who might come to your home belong to Animal Control, make sure you ask for a badge and then call Animal Control before turning over your animals to those officers. In South Wichita, Deb Ferris, Cake News. Now, the suspects are described as two white women with blonde hair, one in her 20s, the other in her 50s. Both were wearing all blue with denim jackets and driving a white unmarked Ford truck with a kennel in the back. Police ask them to bring the dogs to the animal shelter night drop off. No questions asked.